Hi friends, in this video I am going to explain some rules so that you can easily identify energy and power signals. Energy signal, it has two rules. The first one is, the signal must be of finite amplitude and finite duration. The second one is, at t tends to plus infinity and minus infinity, the amplitude of the signal must be equal to zero. These two conditions are must. So let's see some simple examples. Coming to example number one x of t equal to u of t minus u of t minus 1. Is it a finite duration signal? Yes, it is a finite duration signal since it is extending from 0 to 1. Is it having a finite amplitude in the given interval of time? Yes, it is having a finite amplitude in the given interval of time. So at t tends to plus infinity and minus infinity, the amplitude is 0. So it satisfies all three conditions. So the given signal is energy signal. So let's take another example. Example number 2. x of t equal to e power minus t. It is exponential decay signal. So it's having a finite duration. Is it having a finite amplitude? Yeah. At some time the amplitude is going to 0. So it satisfies the second condition. At t tends to plus infinity and minus infinity it is having 0 amplitude. Yes. So it satisfies all three conditions. The given signal is an energy signal. Let's take an another example, x of t equal to e power t. It is an exponential increasing signal, so it doesn't have a finite duration. Is it having a finite amplitude? No. You can easily tell it, it doesn't have a finite amplitude. At t tends to infinity, the amplitude tends to infinity, so it doesn't satisfy the third condition. So the given signal is not an energy signal. Let's take an another example. Now I am going to take a periodic signal, sin t. So is it having a finite duration? No. Since it is extending from minus infinity to plus infinity, it doesn't have a finite duration. Is it having a finite amplitude? Yeah. At each and every interval of time, it having some finite amplitude. At t tends to minus infinity and plus infinity, we can't judge its amplitude. So it doesn't satisfy the third condition. So the given signal is not an energy signal. Okay friends, in next video I am going to tell you some tricks how to identify power signals. So please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.